Hello everyone, this is Southern Bell Whisper and Mother Love Whispers again. Um, we didn't believe in breaking a promise to you guys that we would give you a review on the color purple. Now let me just say, uh, let's start, before I start tearing this movie apart, um, I love the original. The original is a classic. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Whoopi Goldberg, but I loved her in that movie. And I loved uh, Glover. Glover. What was his Danny name? Glover. Danny Glover. Loved him as a mister in that movie. And I just, I mean, it, it's a classic Oprah. You know, it's just one of those movies that you shouldn't even touch with a 10-foot pole when it comes to remakes. remakes. And they did. I think this is the third time. I think they did uh, the, so the original. I think they did one for Lifetime, too, if I uh, remember right, where they used a white cast. Um, but I don't know, but... So, uh, uh, you know, you saw me in the earlier video. We were very excited. Uh, we haven't been to a movie together in forever. <laughs> uh, I can't think of the last time we went to it a movie together. It was still fun. It was still fun going out and buying snacks and, uh, and having that excitement of, oh my gosh, I'm going to the movies. And, you know, um, it was bad. In our opinion, it was bad. It was cheesy. It was... They didn't have good writers. Yeah, the acting was horrible. Like, it really... Like, they had to try so hard. I don't know how to explain it. How... It didn't have a good plot. I mean, even mm. though it had the plot of the original, mm -hmm. it you know, you could tell that there was some uh, added and... Uh, it just it was it all just over the place. Yeah. And then it's like you came and get five minutes into the movie and they're already singing about something like a sandwich or a or or the swamp or I will say this about it, the cinematography was beautiful. The way it was shot was really pretty, but uh it uh, yeah, it was bad. Uh two hours and twenty minutes and we only what how long did we stay? An hour and a half, I think. Something like that. I just got plain tired just watching it. I yeah, I tried like, to really like it, but I just didn't. We were trying. Uh, we were trying so hard, and it even had that girl from uh, the Little Mermaid, the actress. So, and she, I mean, the voices were pretty and everything, but nobody could save it really. N n nobody could save it. It was just. It shouldn't have been a musical to begin with. The whole purpose of that movie was, like, the original was, you know, her finding her way and going through all these um, yes. tribulations, trials and tribulations to get to her sister. And this movie just took away from all of that. Like, they tried to put it in where they talked more about her children, uh, Olivia and Adam, I think her children's names were. Mm -hmm. They were trying to, like, put that in and be like, oh, you know, just to say, oh, well, this is how her kids came to be. But I found it kind of weird because I never knew that her daddy was the baby's father. You never knew that? I never knew that. The first words out of out of, first words out of her mouth. Maybe I just need to watch the original again because I haven't seen it in years and I yeah. did not I did not remember that little that little tidbit. Well, read the book again too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, uh, who who's that? Ann Patchett, Patchett or something? What that wrote it? Yeah. I can't remember. Or Tony Morrison, some 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 writer. I I'll, I'll read the book, but oh my gosh. This movie today, oh, and we had, yeah. we had such high hopes for it, and what's funny is I've been wanting to see um, the Iron Claw, with Zac Efron, uh, because I love him. Who doesn't love Zac Efron? Uh, but it's it's based on a true story, but my mom doesn't like wrestling, 
so um, I'll have to go with a friend or something. Maybe I can uh, get one of my friends I'm to like go I'm with I'm not me. a friend. <laughs> no, but you don't like wrestling. Remember when we went to go see The Fighter? I don't know. That movie was pretty good. It was good. With Amy Adams yeah. and uh, his family just cracked us up so much. Oh, my gosh. We were cracking up so much at the theater. Mom went to go sit down and, and miss the seat by about half a mile. <laughs> and I told you guys she has a weak left side, so she kind of like slumped over on me. And I was like, my well, I, end, I ended up just laying down and sliding up beside of her. You I know, said, if you file this chair in the theater. She was looking in my eyes. And know. that's another thing. The theater was completely empty. empty. Nobody. Nobody. My mom was like, I, I kept whispering to her, like, oh, that's, that's going to be good. And she was like, Kelly, why are, you, why are we whispering? Like, there's nobody in here. <laughs> and then this woman, like, set me at one point in the movie and goes, did, did you see somebody behind me? And I was like, no, Ma. <laughs> I did not see somebody behind me. And she said, I swear, I felt somebody breathing on me. I, I was like, uh, Ma. <laughs> If you want me to bust through that wall where it says exit, like the Kool Aid Man, never a dull moment. I mean, it just, it just, it was, it was bad. But hey, okay, I don't know we if, tried. We tried, but uh, our saving graces were, we uh, we got Captain D's. If you guys know what Captain D's is, and we had to wait for it for about twenty minutes, um, and he gave us extra fish. Um, I love that. I love Captain D's. Miss Miss Mother Love Whisper is going to the bathroom, so she might not be at, 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 uh, back by the end of this video. <laughs> Say bye bye. Ta ta. But um, <laughs> this uh, this also uh, it's been a pretty rough day for me. Uh, I got my I got my license found, and then I went to the DMV, and they told me that my license was actually suspended in 2021 and that was around the time I had left my husband before and um and they must have sp suspended my license when I canceled the insurance on my car um so I got to call them and it's just like all these hoops I got to jump through and I was like can anything make me can anything go right today can anything make me happy today and I know money doesn't buy happiness but that TV. I'm not going to open it until... I'm not going to open it until I get upstairs, but, like, it's a it's a 50-inch 4K, and I didn't even know it was 4K. So, that made me a little bit happier than I felt today. Uh, it just seemed like everything was going wrong. Um, I really wanted my mama to be happy and be able to go to the movies with me because we've always enjoyed going to the movies together. I told you guys about the Sweet Home Alabama store, uh, story um, where, you know, we found the $10 in my dad's jacket and we went, uh, that's crazy. They still have the same theater that we went to go see Sweet Home Alabama in and that's pretty awesome. Um it's called the Millwall Theater. It's in Whitfield. Um, I remember going there with her. And that was one of the best days of my life. Seriously. And ever since then, we just really enjoyed going to the movies together. And I just hate. I hate that this... The first time in, I guess it's been a year, I think she went to go see Elvis. She, be she begged my dad to take her to go see Elvis. Um, but I wanted it to be good for her, you know. It was supposed to be a fun day, and we did have a few laughs, I will say that. We did have a good time. We got a whole bag, full stack still, and and um, we had a few laughs. We got fish. I got a brand new, oh, excuse me. I got a brand new TV. I mean, I'm blessed. That's all I can say. Anyways. Uh, I love you guys. I hope you guys like this little review and I'll be talking to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.